can't <laughs> shy away yeah. from the provisions of the law and the provisions of the Constitution. I think these arguments are, are insincere. Mm -hmm. we, we, we must accept the fact that uh, there is a judgment that is rendered, that has been rendered by a court of law. Mm -hmm. That is very specific, quoting the Constitution and the law. And uh, the NATCO report is not a legal instrument whatsoever. It cannot surpass the power of an existing law. It cannot surpass the power of an existing constitution. There was litigation, a judgment has been rendered. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and the, the principle of uh, dealing with the judiciary and judicial rulings is that if you're not happy with the ruling of a lower court, then you can appeal. So whatever argument that, uh, that we are getting here, mm -hmm. uh, they should just be sincerely placed before a court of appeal and proceed with it. But, uh, but, but that having said that, yeah. the judgment that has been rendered by Mugure Thande should be a wake-up call to everybody. Because then it tells us that the selection panel, once the selection panel is constituted by parliament, it cannot be stopped. And therefore, that judgment effectively legitimizes the selection panel that is in place. And uh, uh, it will be interesting to see mm -hmm. how that is going to be worked backward. It has never happened. The Chapter 15 Constitutional Commissions, commissioners have been appointed through yeah. competent selection panels that have been appointed through the procedures of the provisions of the Constitution. So to walk backwards, backwards will, be, will indeed be very, very difficult. And that is why when you push things, you cannot cherry pick in this country. Uh, and I have to remind all the kin and Fred, you cannot choose what, to, what is right mm. and cherry pick what favors you. If it is the rule of law, it cuts both ways. A judgment has been rendered. All of us as law abiding citizens, uh, we must abide by it. And uh, let us not be labor trying to struggle of who is who is best placed to do what in this country. The NATCO is a gentleman's agreement uh, uh, meeting uh, <coughs> panel appointed and it's working and I believe that report will be tabled in parliament. And as, and as that report is, uh, is, is, is processed in parliament, it will also be alive to the rulings that are in court. That cannot be wished away. And, and to so me, from it, my own it, understanding it, yeah. of procedures of the Constitution and the law, yeah. if the, the, the <coughs> IBC panel that is in place mm. chooses to proceed, it can proceed without any, any, any inhibition. Parliament whatsoever has no powers to try and control and recall a constitutional a, 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 a selection panel that has been appointed and is in operation, and less probably done through the courts. So that's a tall order, according to me. Uh, so away from so that, what lastly. Options, what options do the political class have if indeed they desire to incorporate everyone or in the name of nine uh, panelists is to succeed? The, 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 the court has prosecuted all that. And, and if you listen to Mugure Thande, mm. it has even made reference to to the NATCO and they said, yes, that NATCO is not anchored in, in law because we are a country of the rule of law and constitution. We cannot choose when to follow the constitution and when not to. Everything, all matters of governance okay. are, 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 are guided by the constitution. And by the way, the court considered the wider interest of, 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 of the public, the, the review of the boundaries, is very critical, is the business of IBC, and it must be done within given timelines by an independent uh, body. That is one. Two, yep. there are two constituencies that are existing without members of parliament for a long period of time, and in fact, it is wrong for parliament to proceed with business with exclusion of participation of uh, some citizens in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Uh, NATCO report, I don't know how it will end, I'm not part of parliament, but then I believe the rights of the people is, is paramount. And therefore, the selection panel is vested with the responsibility of conducting appointments procedurally. Uh, what I hear loudly now is that uh, 
even those names will have to be vetted and approved by political parties. That is wrong. That is not the spirit of creation of IEBC. IEBC so, so ought to be what absolutely if, independent. Sami, members... we've had these talks out yeah. there that, no, we are not going to accept any names unless approved by us. That is hijacking IEBC. And what if the members of the selection anarchy. panel... And I think... Yes. What if the members of the selection panel resign? That will be a different matter. They have not resigned, as we are in this studio. They if have they not did, resigned. How would a new panel be appointed? If they did, and that thing, and, and, and the panel is dead, then you go back to parliament to start afresh. <laughs> yes. You go back to parliament. Let's 